All right, everyone, I'm gonna go right into our next speaker. Our next speaker is Mr. Howard Tager. Howard Tager is the owner, creator, and CEO of Y Lopo. That's Y L O P O. You guys can look it up while he's coming to the stage. This gentleman has created two other lead generating systems for real estate, sold them off for millions of dollars, created Y Lopo, and is now having Facebook create their third case study on how he generates business through Y Lopo. So he's coming up here to sit with you and talk to you about the future of technology and real estate. Give him a round of applause, please. I got the tough spot. This is the post-lunch. Too many speakers, too much data. I'm really just waiting for Josh Altman anyway, spot. And I'll try to deliver some value. So the only thing I need is a little technology, and it's called a clicker. You can bring it up, thanks. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck on the title page for 35 minutes. So I want everybody here to give yourselves, yourselves a big round of applause. Napoleon Hill said, the way of success is the way of the continuous pursuit of knowledge. The fact that each and every one of you took time out of your busy day with 10,000 to-dos to come here in the pursuit of knowledge to take your business, your team to the next level, this separates you from 99.9% .9 of all of the other realtors in your market. So everybody give yourselves a big round of applause. So I get like, Yelopa, Yelopo, no one can pronounce it. <laughs> it's Ylopo. It's the last five letters of the word monopoly, the ultimate game of real estate turned on its head. So the f you've heard a bunch of speakers tell you that you guys need to establish credibility. Very important to establish credibility. So I'm gonna walk the walk. I'm gonna try to establish credibility without sounding like, like I'm gloating, but just trying to you know, establish credibility with you guys. Why is this guy on stage? So Facebook, that's my business partner, by the way, G Money. I call him, well, his name is Ju Fung G, but I call him G Money, because he's made me a lot of money over the years. Smartest guy in digital marketing and real estate. So Facebook, has already published two case studies on little old Ylopo. This is my third company. We're in the startup phase. It's my favorite phase. Few clients, a lot of hardworking people working 24 hours a day. There's our team there. So they're about to release the third case study on us. So we are in a very, very tight partnership with Facebook. There's no other company in all of real estate technology that will have three case studies that Facebook did on them. And we're really honored to work with Facebook because they're really brilliant what they're doing. They're evolving their digital marketing products very quickly. And it's a two-way street. We're giving them, providing them information that we're getting back from our realtors, and they're giving us a lot of information. So it's been an amazing partnership. So I want everybody to write things down during my prez. Number one, you're going to retain more. Number two, you're going to stay awake. <laughs> my job here is not to sell you on Ylopo. It's really not. Okay, we've got clients all over the country. This is a regional event. Most of you are probably from Southeast Florida. We can't work with that many people in one area. We kind of, we have limits, we cut, it, we cut it off. My job here is to show you through the context of what we're doing for our clients, what you guys need to be looking for. What's happening in social media? What's happening with Facebook? What's cutting edge? What's state of the art? Okay, our, our thing at Ylopo is that we recognize that you guys are out of time. Time is your most precious commodity. It's not money, it's time. You've got no time. You've got 10,000 things to do as a realtor. It's a really, really time consuming job. It's 24 seven, seven days a week, it's relentless. Do you also have time to become a digital marketing expert? No, so well, the way we approach it is it's a partnership, right? We are in partnership. We handle all of it for you so you can be great at what you do, which is being a great real estate agent, not a digital marketer. So there's three things now going forward that you have to do. First off, a lot of people are scared about tech. And Gary Keller got up, I was at Inman, and he's like, you know, the technology companies, they're the evil empire. My whole thing is embrace technology. 
Don't be scared of it. Okay, work with companies like Grants or Mind to make it easy and digestible for you. Because if you do not embrace technology, you're a dinosaur. You're in the past, you're dead. So do not let technology scare you, okay? Because there are companies like mine that will make it easy for you. So the three important things you wanna do is, one, you wanna generate leads, but you wanna get in front of Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, Trulia. How are you gonna do that? Well, we're gonna show you how. Well, you gotta, you gotta head those consumers off of the pass before they go to the big portals. As soon as they go to the big portals, you're done. Because they're gonna sell, they're gonna sell that consumer five, five different ways to Sunday. Number two, and we're gonna talk about all this stuff in painstaking detail. Number two, lead nurture. So you headed them off of the pass, but you gotta keep them coming back. Keep them coming back. And you're gonna have to use three, four, five different ways to keep those consumers off of Google page one, off of Zillow. Keep them coming back to you. Now we're gonna talk about specifically what you need to do to keep them coming back to you. Number three, wouldn't it be nice if every day you woke up and said, yeah, feeling good. I know that my brand, my team, my listings, my open houses are in front of my entire sphere. You guys probably know that before you buy a product, you have to see it four or five times. You might see something on TV, you might see an ad on Amazon, you might see this, that. It's gonna take you four or five exposures of something to feel comfortable. So you have to get yourself, your team, your brand, your message, your blog, your open houses in front of consumers all the time. We talk about your digital billboard. It's an always on digital billboard. Door knocking is digital door, door knocking now. Okay, we're gonna talk about the specifics, but these are the three big things. So let's go into the first of the three pieces. First is lead generation, heading them off of the pass. So <laughs> before they start searching on all these big portals, right, before they go to Google, look who's dominating Google. I started Tiger Lead Solutions in 2007, and these guys were not on page one of Google. I was there bringing my clients to page one. We could get the coveted 1.7 position on Google, we can get a 14% click to lead ratio, and my clients were just humming. It was transformative. We were literally teaching real estate agents about Google pay-per-click advertising and why they should be online. Can you imagine if I got up here right now, a decade later, and try to tell you why you need to be online? That conversation's over, right? Now the conversation is, how do I compete? Little old me, my team, how do I compete with the big boys, okay? What happens is, and this is, so, okay, I'm the guy during the cocktail party, if you wanna get the real truth, you wanna know why? Fidelity, that already owned all the big data in the world, they already owned Black Knight, they got all the data. Why did they buy Commissions Inc? Why did they buy Real Geeks? Does anyone know? Because they have agents, they have you guys. And what do they want to sell? Title insurance, <laughs> okay? Anyway, if you want all the inside secrets to this whole industry, catch me when we're having drinks. Okay, so what goes on with the portals? You might be buying leads from Realtor.com or from Zillow. They're great, those guys are great, and you might get a choice. You can buy exclusive leads, or you could buy the non-exclusive leads. The non-exclusive leads are less expensive. Your speed to lead, you're gonna buy the non-exclusive leads. But what they don't tell you is, that consumer doesn't fill out a form on one home, right? That consumer fills out a form on two homes, three homes, four homes, and guess what happens here? Every single time they fill out a form on a home, they get sold to three different realtors, right? They could get sold to lenders. Guess what? Those lenders have different realtor partners. So when that consumer goes to the portals, you're done. You're over, okay? Game over for the little guy. So what you wanna do is use social media. I'm on the social media track, right? Everything Grant said, right on the money, right? You could work with a company like Grant's if you wanna really get your hands dirty. You would work with a company like mine if you're like, I don't have time for that, you guys handle it. But either way, you need to get on social media or you're a dinosaur, why? because you can get to these consumers. You can get to every household in your neighborhood, 30 minute radius around your office. You can get in front of everybody on social media before, had them off of the pass, before they go to Google, Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, all that. So you're at the beginning of the waterfall. Now what does that mean if you're at the beginning of the waterfall? Is that consumer quite ready? They're not quite ready, but you're getting the conversation going. This is why social media is the future for you guys, okay? So let's talk about Facebook. Let's talk about some, some statistics. 
So 2018, 207 million Americans on Facebook. So almost 65% of all US citizens are on Facebook today. Households, even more important, out of 121 million households, there are 93 million households that you can reach right now on Facebook. Now we're talking, we're getting close to 77% of what you wanna reach, people who actually live in homes, who are gonna sell their homes, who are gonna buy new homes. Let's take a look at how many times they're visiting, right? Facebook leads the pack in terms of visiting several times a day and once a day at 74%. But it's not just the fact that they're visiting multiple times, it's the amount of time they spend on Facebook versus other social media. It's a lot of time. So since they're there a lot of time, we can get in front of them. So the one thing about Facebook that's really interesting, they're not just tracking your existence on Facebook, they're tracking your existence on every single site you ever visit. So if a consumer last month went to Redfin and looked at a $775,000 condo in South Beach, Facebook knows it. They have it, they've got everything. Whether you go to realtor.com, whether you go to Redfin, they know everywhere you've been. So we have a continuous flow of information, my company with Facebook, where we're taking all the data we're collecting about homes they're looking for on our site, right? Everything about them. We're marrying it with all the data they have in the consumer. We're putting it together in this perfect world to show the right home to the right person at the right time. So we are obsessed about giving consumers what they want. The consumer does not want to see your dogs. We love your dogs. I'm a big dog guy. Love dogs. I don't want to see your dogs. They don't want to see your favorite brownie recipe. What do consumers want to see? Homes, homes, and homes. And homes that are relevant to them, where they want to live, in the price range they can afford. So the devil's in the detail. You're going to go to a lot of conferences, you're going to hear a lot of people talk about Facebook marketing, but it is such a nuclear arms race now of technology. We have to specifically show a home to a consumer of a home they visited 34 days ago. We have to show them the right home at the right time. So that's enough said on the lead gen side, we're gonna dive into the lead nurture side, and this is what I really get excited about. Everyone talks about lead gen, lead gen, lead gen, but your most valuable lead is not your new lead, it's your old lead. It's the lead in your database. It's someone you already know. It's your sphere. This is more important. So what do you wanna do? You gotta keep them coming back. You gotta keep them off the other sites. You gotta get them onto your site. So this is what we're gonna talk about. So. I'm a little bit older than a lot of you guys. This is one of my favorite scenes. If you haven't seen it, go to YouTube. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, right? You're lucky I'm not gonna play it. Alec Baldwin, ABC, right? Always be what? Closing. Okay, always be closing. That game has changed. Now it's always be cultivating. Write that down. Always be cultivating. Think about that. Are you nurturing? Are you incubating? Are you cultivating every single person that you've ever come across? Okay, so the, the vast majority of home searchers are really not ready to sell or buy out of the gate. They're all online, they're all looking at homes. Think about that, process that. Do not sell to them right away. If you sell to them right away, they are gonna go running. They are gonna run fast. What you need to do is think about this equation that's changed, okay? First off, make sure that you have great mobile optimized IDX home search. You can run all the Facebook ads in the world, but where do they go once they fill out a form? Where do they go once they click on that ad? They need to have a seamless consumer experience now. You can't just send them to some branded page, they're gonna leave. You can't just send them to some home search and they gotta start over, they're gonna be annoyed. You need to send them to the exact property they saw on the ad. You need to show them 28 other homes that match that home exactly. And that means it's gotta be fed real time through your MLS by the IDX data feed. Your, uh, your home search is the nexus. This is a critical slide, probably one of the most important slides I'm gonna, I'm gonna share. Your home search is where you capture them, it's where you bring them back to through lots of different technology, okay? You could be buying portal leads. I love people who buy realtor.com leads. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing those guys. I love clients who buy Zillow leads, who buy realtor.com leads because they don't deliver nurture technology, those portals. 
So when we bring those portal leads in, the folks that don't transact right away, we can nurture them for as long as it's gonna take. Social media, we're gonna talk about sphere marketing. You might have five people on your team. Every one of those people on your team knows a thousand people. Okay, from Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Gmail, whatever. We can bring them all in. Your branded site, have a great branded site. Make sure your branded site is 2020, not 2010. It's social proof, people are gonna look at it. Okay, your referrals, your open houses. I'm an open house junkie, okay? In all my years of going open houses, I've only had one person, one realtor ever, who said to me, you know what, I know you might not be buying right away, but let me get you on a great home search. Every time there's a new home on the market here, every time there's a price reduction, you'll get it. You're gonna get a first buyer's advantage. It's a great service, whether you use me or not. How on the money was this guy? And I sold my own $3.8 million home using this guy, he wasn't even in my town. But I rewarded him because the last open house I went into was a $2 million home up in the mountains. I went in, the realtor was having a conversation with someone. I'm real, I walked in, they said hello, and that was it. Sign up on the sheet. Shame on you if you run an open house and you have someone sign up on a sheet and that's it. Get them on your home search so they don't search where? On your competitor sites, on Zillow, on Realtor.com. Those are free leads walking into your open house. So that's the nexus. Lead nurture, man. You, you never know when someone's ready to buy or sell. Stay in front of them forever. Okay, people buy and sell multiple times over their life, right? Stay in front of them forever. Every dud, I love this, every dud knows a stud, right? So Rich might be poor, but Cousin Larry's a billionaire, right? So stay in front of these folks all the time. I wanna reframe everything. I'm actually tired of using the word leads. Let's think about this as relationships, okay? A successful personal relationship does not happen the first time you meet someone at a bar or on an online dating site. That's not a successful relationship. A successful relationship, a personal relationship, whether it's a friend, whether it's a significant other, it takes time. It takes seeing them many times. It takes conversations. It's long-term, multiple touch points. That is what we're talking about now. Everyone keeps talking about lead gen, lead gen, lead gen. Change it. Use the vocabulary of relationships. So what you want to do, this is the number one thing you're going to do, okay? I want you guys all to write this down, is you must build a ever-growing database of relationships. We talked a little bit earlier about exit strategy and building something you wanna sell, have some terminal value, I've sold multiple businesses. Well, what is the asset you're gonna sell? If it's you, yourself, and I, and your brand, well, guess what, when you're gone, the person buying your business has nothing of value. So what can you build up? The simple analogy is you're a jeweler, right? You're a jeweler for three decades. Well, you keep buying beautiful watches, you buy diamonds, you buy all this stuff. Eventually, you have a really significant asset. Your entire collection has grown in value over time. Think about this, okay? Every single month of your career, build and grow your database of relationships. And you don't always have to spend money to do that. We're gonna show you how to do that actually for free. So, Lead Nurture, we are absolute experts on Facebook remarketing. Facebook did a case study us on Facebook remarketing. You can reach 48% of your database through remarketing on Facebook. The unique click-through rate is sky high compared to emails, 28%. Average number of listings viewed we're seeing for our clients, 4.2 listings every time we remarket to someone in your database. The best thing about it is, if you look at the cost of generating a new lead, you could be looking at generating a Facebook lead, a really high quality Facebook lead, because we do a lot of lead filtration, we scrub out the bad leads. You can generate bad leads all day long. Be very wary of someone who says, I can generate $2 Facebook leads. You can generate thousands of $2 Facebook leads, but if you don't speak to one consumer, you just wasted $2,000, right? But a really high quality Facebook lead that's been vetted, that we've asked some questions to, five to $12, depending on whether you live in Beverly Hills or whether you live in Detroit, right? A portal lead, 50 to 120 bucks a lead, super expensive, right? The cost to effectively re-engage a relationship on Facebook, 10 to 14 cents to bring them back looking at homes on your site, not on anyone else's site. The other thing is you have to embrace artificial intelligence. You see the letters AI stands for artificial intelligence. We have algorithms, artificial intelligence running all the time. 
So we're not just providing the home search technology, we have algorithms that are watching every single move a consumer makes. I know exactly when they've looked at a home for the fourth time. I know exactly when they've shared a home with their wife or their husband. I know exactly when they've raised their hand and said I want some more information on a property. I know exactly when they've been dormant for two months and all of a sudden there's frenetic home search activity. All of these actions I didn't just make up, it's by dialoguing with you guys, okay? Our clients, where I said to my clients, what's important to you? What signifies a really hot relationship versus a lead, right? A really hot lead. And we have all these behaviors that we're watching. So basically, you might be out showing a home. And all of a sudden, someone looks at a million dollar condo for the fourth time, but you're too busy to respond. So if you don't respond within a certain period of time, we're gonna send a behavioral text on your behalf to that consumer that says, hi, this is Josh, I'm Howard's assistant. I noticed you looked at 124 Main Street for the fourth time. Would you like more information on the home or would you like to go see the home? You're still busy at your showing, but by using artificial intelligence, right, and behavioral texting, you're now starting the conversation with that lead that eventually you're gonna have to take over. So I'm not a full like, you know, tech is gonna handle this conversation all the way to close, absolutely not. I'm a little bit old school, right? At some point, you use tech and automation to basically lead them to a meaningful conversation with you. So with behavioral texting, what happens is, you know, so here's a client, thanks for the behavioral text that's sent on my behalf, I was able to connect with this buyer, 500K, scheduled to meet this Saturday to show her the home she requested for, for as well as the others in the neighborhood. Huge bonus, she also has a townhouse to sell. So 60% of your searchers, guess what? They also have a home they have to sell. So make sure at some point in the conversation, you ask that question. I'm shocked at how many times realtors don't ask that question in the conversation, right? But the majority of them have a home to sell. This is a great response to behavioral text. We sent Tracy Lawrence, hi Tracy, sorry if I'm bugging you. This is all automated, the realtor didn't do it. I am Joshua's assistant and Joshua asked me to check in on you. Are you looking to buy in the next three months? That was all automated. And then the lead replied, uh, I get my vibrators from a special dealer, thank you. So we thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, so <laughs> I got one person that laughed, that's good. I'm not gonna do stand-up anymore. All right, behavioral texting, response rate is 18%. That means one out of every five consumers are gonna respond to a text that you never sent, right? That the tech company sent for you. Of the one out of five that responds, 70% 70, 70 respond positively, meaning they say, yeah, I'm interested in this. They start giving you direction on what they're interested in, and all of a sudden you have a conversation that you can pick up. What's next? What's next in terms of lead nurture is getting into, and it's kind of creepy, but getting into their Facebook Messenger. We have had tremendous success of getting actual homes from your MLS, actual homes we know the consumers like, getting it into their Facebook Messenger. It's off the charts response rates. So let's take a look at all this automation. First off, listing alerts. Again, the devil's in the details. People will talk about email listing alerts, but are they dynamic? Do your listing alerts change as your consumer search behavior changes? Maybe they were looking in the suburbs and now they're looking in the city center. Your listing alerts have to change. Are they bonded? What that means is, are you watching, is the technology watching if your consumer bonds with a particular listing. If they bond with a particular listing, then automatically, anytime there's an MLS status change on that particular listing, we send them that status change, okay? So bonded listing alerts. AI, AI behavioral texting is critical, remarketing is critical, and Facebook message, messenger listing chatbots. All of this together, we get 61% of leads returned to site within 90 days. The average lead returns 5.3 times within 90 days, and 16.2% end up in a hand raiser, meaning they literally ask you, can I go see that home? Or can I get more information about that home? It's really critical. Now, automation doesn't stop there, because most of your agents are busy, they're doing other things, and the bottom line is, not a lot of folks are great at lead follow-up. So we take it to the next level. We send all you guys priority text notifications because you're busy, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're meeting the appraiser, you're meeting the lender, whatever you're doing. We will literally send you a priority text notification and it will say, and we have different levels of priority notification and it could be an urgent priority text notification. This consumer just raised their hand, they wanna go see a home. You need to know that right away because the old way was you had to constantly look at your CRM. 
You, every day you were like, I looked at this giant CRM, who do I talk to, who's hot, who's not? The next generation is, you don't have to worry about that. We'll tell you exactly who's hot. It's important to understand that 50% of all sales happen after the fifth touch. So you need to think about the following things if you're gonna be responding and nurturing to consumers. What's the manner in which you talk to consumers? You should write all this down, guys. What's the manner in which you talk to consumers? What's the mode? Is it call? Is it text? Is it email? Is it, is it modifying their, their home search criteria? Are you pushing listings to them? What's the process? Do you actually have a process? Or do you wake up every day like, mm, maybe I'll call some leads today, maybe I won't. Do you have a process for yourself and your team that you follow religiously? And frequency. How often do you do all these things? What's the frequency of the calls, emails, texts? So this is what I call LTMT, long-term multiple touches. If you're nurturing your relationships, you need to be in touch with them over the long term. So this is like just an example of one of my like, favorite clients, her basically long-term multiple touch point plan. So we've got some things she's doing, some things we're doing, listing alerts, nudge text, email drips, push listings, customizing searches, remarketing's hitting, behavioral texting, all this stuff, call, email, it's all happening. And then it's wash, rinse, dry, repeat. Wash, rinse, dry, repeat. Long term. If you stay in touch with these people for the long term, you are gonna close an astronomical number of deals than every single one of your competitors who do not do this. 99.9% .9 of you will not do this. 99.9% .9 of your competitors will not do this. If I can convince one person in the audience to do this, you're gonna take your business to the next level. That's it. I've, I've done this for over a decade. I've started with clients who did zero digital marketing, who did zero lead gen. I have clients doing $100 million worth of transactions and they started from zero because a decade later they built up a massive database of relationships and they're doing this correctly. So think about, it's not leads, it's relationships. Now when you actually are working with leads, FSCP, you need to be fast. You need to talk to them before your, your competition. Service oriented, not sales oriented. You need to have a consistent plan that you follow every single week, and you need to be persistent. You need to keep getting in touch with them until they actually buy or they tell you to die. That's it. You never stop. Once you're in a conversation, you need to follow these principles. Once you're, there's no such thing as a cold call in my world because these people are warm. They're the ones searching on your platform. They're the ones who are responding. They're the ones inquiring. There's no, there's no reason to talk to a cold lead, it's warm. But if, if you're starting off warm, don't kill it. Don't kill it by trying to sell them right away. Be curious about them and their lives. Ask them open-ended questions and get them talking. As soon as you get a person talking about their life, you're, you're more than halfway there, so be curious. Be a good listener. Number two, connect with them. So they're, listen, actually listen to what they're saying. Don't be on your social media while they're talking. Listen to what they're saying, identify with them, connect with them. Say, oh yeah, that reminds me, that was, I was like me five years ago and I was in the same situation. Build that bond. Then you shift into the third C, be their advisor. Start consulting them. Start giving them that most important reason why they're gonna work with you versus your competitor, which is you're giving sage consult, sage advice, and then collaboration. You're gonna work together. You've done all this, you were asked them, you identified, you consulted them. Now, do not get off the phone with them until you've actually made a collaborative plan. You've set a time to talk again. You've set a time to meet. Those are the four C's, you pull that off and you're gonna be in the money. The other thing I wanna say about lead nurture is make sure you've got the right person on your team in the right position saying the right things at the right time. I can't tell you how many times I see real estate teams who has someone that should be a transaction coordinator who's actually their inside salesperson talking to leads and someone who's their inside salesperson who should actually be their transaction coordinator. So how do you know this? If you have people on your team who are calling leads, texting leads, all that, shop them. Secret shop them, okay? Just don't trust that they're doing it, okay? Come in as a lead. See how the person on your team actually responds to them, talks to them, were they timely? 
Were they service oriented? Did they give you advice? Did they listen? These are all the important things. So lastly, digital billboard, just make sure your digital billboard is always on, have a great branded site, have a great blog, have all of, you know, just basically be everywhere, okay, every single time someone goes online, they see you, your brand, your team, your open houses, your listings, very important. When you want to reach out to someone who is a potential seller, it's a potential listing lead, right? You wanna be able to get them data about how you're gonna help them better than anyone else. That's two things. You don't have to do two things. One, show them that you already have a database of buyers, of relationships, who will buy their home. That's number one, okay? Number two, show them that if you get their listing, you've got the ability and the technology and the know-how to advertise the heck out of their listing all over social media. You do those two things, because no agent's ever done that in a listing presentation with me, right? They're just like, oh, I'm great, I got a really nice brochure, right? You, if I had ever had a realtor that came to me and said, I've already got the buyers for your home, here they are, and here's how much money I will spend on your home on social media, you've got the listing. Lastly, we talked about how you can get free relationships, free leads. Again, you have a team, a small team, five people. Between their LinkedIn associates, their Facebook friends, all the contacts in Gmail, we now have the ability to import all of this for free into Facebook, and now you're remarketing to 5,000, 10,000 people at 10 to 14 cents per, it's nothing and you're gonna be very gentle. The ad's gonna be like, hello friends, not sure you're in the market right now to buy or sell, if you might be interested, but guess what? You're doing something that none of your competitors are doing. You're staying in front of your entire team's sphere all the time, and you didn't spend a penny on new lead generation. So again, seamless home search, showing the right home to the right person at the right time, getting everybody into this incubation system all the time, and you're gonna build basically a money tree. So my final acronym is take it to the bank. You need to build this relationship database, you need to automate the heck out of it, you need to nurture, 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 and then you're gonna close. You're basically gonna turn your database into an ATM. So why are you here today? You're here today to learn from Grant, from me, from David, from everybody, because you need to see what's around the corner. What's going on next? What's happening with artificial intelligence? What's gonna happen in Facebook Messenger? Video is huge going forward in terms of engagement. I know for a fact Facebook is rele releasing some killer video products specifically targeted for real estate. So keep learning and think big. Don't listen to the negative people, okay? I have successfully taken three companies over the line and every single time I built a company from my, my living room, like really small, small business. Every single time I had people around me who were naysayers who said, you can't do this. You can't do this for these reasons. And if I had listened to them, nothing would have happened. So think big, get all of the negativity and all of the negative people out of your life and off your team. Get rid of them, they're not helping you, they're holding you back. You want go-to positive people. Surround yourself with people who are smarter than you, who are more positive than you, and there's no end in sight at what you can do. Thanks, guys.